Okay, so uh, got our coon. He goes round and round in there. Uh, like I said, I wash all my furs. You'd uh, you'd be surprised what you can gain by washing your fur. Even a clean pelt is is very dirty. So uh, get them washed up, and then we're gonna move on to flushing. Okay, guys. So uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be part two. This is gonna be the flushing of the coon. Okay, so we got our coon here. Real nice coon. Uh, you know, pretty good size coon here. He's gonna be about a 3x whenever we stretch him, or her in this case. But uh, we've we've washed our coon, we've uh, dried it a little bit, and uh, we've put it in the refrigerator uh, overnight, and kind of got the fat hard. Uh, this is not necessary, but the way I do coons, I skin one night, and then. Uh, refrigerate and then flush them the next night and then skin that day's catch and that's the way I keep my rotation going. So uh, we've got our coon here. We're going to go ahead and flush him now. Uh, I'm going to try to go real slow here. Not a speed thing. I'm going to try to uh, to where everybody can kind of kind of see all the, all the movements and everything. Uh, for what it's worth, I'm, we're flushing it on a, uh, a PVC beam here. And I'll be using a, uh, a Necker knife. Okay, so we'll get started here. I'm going to take my clamp. I use a clamp to, uh, to kind of better hold the fur in place. And we're going to clamp it off and we're going to start. Okay, the hardest part of the coon is going to be right here, right in the center of its back. We're going to start right here. We're going to take the sharp side of our knife and we're just going to start working right below the ears. There's no need to work above the ears. There's no value to the pelt above the ears. Okay, we're just going to work in a in a slight slicing motion here on this tough part of the back here, just to get things rolling. You can see, I'm using just a slight slicing motion with the sharp side of the knife to get things going. Once you get down a little ways, take your knife and you should start being able to push the fat a little bit easier. So we'll start that there. Push down a ways. I like to keep my work about to my arm's length. That way I'm not bent over. It's easier on the back and it doesn't change the angle of your knife. So we get to right here. We're gonna take him and we're gonna roll him. Okay, we're gonna come right here. We're gonna start. We've got a little bit of, uh, of cheek meat up here. We just wanna kinda take our knife. We just wanna, using the sharp side, just knock that cheek meat off. Aids in the uh, drying process. Once we get that pushed off a little ways, we should be able to turn and start pushing the fat of the coon again. Working our way around the arms. Okay, now this is a female. Once we get past the arms, we wanna start watching out for the nipples of the coon. Uh, we don't want to pop those with our knife. Okay, we've worked to our, our uh, extended arm here. We're going to roll them again. We're going to come around to the other side. We've got the same cheek meat. We're just going to knock that right off. Now the reason that I work my coons all the way around and then pull them up is simply because if I was to go all the way down and push fat off and then have to lift up and come back around, I would either have to wipe off my board or take a chance that uh, some fat would get on the hide and whenever that is boarded, it could possibly cause slippage. 
Okay, so we got past the arm. We're watching for the nipples. Okay, now you can see. Now we've got better than half our coon done. Okay, next. We're going to take, we're going to set the, the arm right here on our beam, and we're just going to scrape the, the little area of the armpit on both arms. Just working that, that fat down real nice and easy. Okay, now that we're to the second arm, now we can start scraping down towards the bottom of the pelt. Once again, there you can see there's a nipple and there's a nipple. We want to be very careful as we go over them. We don't want to pop, the, pop a hole in them. There's another one. And on a coon, you're going to have three sets of, of nipples, so the first set, second set, and the third set. Okay, next we're going to take and we're going to roll our coon again, always working at a comfortable, very comfortable distance. This is a mid-January coon here, nice and prime. Okay, just gonna cut some of this fat away for you guys. Okay, we're gonna take him, we're gonna roll him again. Always staying right in our comfort zone. Here we get round back to the center of the coon, always just rolling him. You can see, I haven't pushed any fat off the coon yet. So there's not hardly any fat on my beam to be able to get inside of the coon. So we've worked him down. We're gonna roll him again. Like I said, I'm not trying to do this for speed. I, you know, you can do it real fast if you want to. I'm trying to do it as a, educational here so we're going to keep working the coon down okay here we're getting to the foot area okay I, that's the little patch right there that I left to put in my skinning machine I'm not worried about that that'll be cut off in the boarding process so we pushed our our foot all the way our, our foot all the way down our coon now we're coming around and we're just going to kind of finish him up, just the last little bit of the coon, scraping him completely clean. Don't want to leave any fat on the coon. There's the patch pad there, we're going to leave that. Now then, now we've come around and we've got one more area left right here at the center of the coon. We're going to go and we're going to push each side. There's our little triangle patch of fur that was created by our initial cut, also called the money cut. We're gonna come around, we're gonna scrape this side of the tail. Okay, looks great. Now we're just gonna finish off the tail, pull them up, kind of recenter them a little bit. Now we've got to our tail here. The best way I found to do the tail is we're gonna take our strokes, we're gonna go cross and cross and we're just going to work our way down the tail this way we're going to work our way down that way get done with the tail looks nice and neat very nice looking coon here coon's completely scraped very nice looking okay that'll uh, do it for for part two and uh, part three will be boarding.